Okay, in this tutorial we're going to build a network using Packet Tracer. This is Cisco Packet Tracer right here and we're going to use uh, routers, switches, and PCs to build a simple um, three network subnet, three subnet network. And first let's go over um, how we're going to logically arrange this network. Okay, we're going to do a situation where we're given an address 192.168.1.0 but we're going to subnet it with a slash 27 subnet mask, meaning we're going to divide this normally one network of this 192.168.1 one network, which would normally be slash 24, which would be one network with 256 hosts, 254 usable hosts, and we're going to break this network up into multiple networks and subnet it, in other words. So slash 27 and when we do that with a slash 27 subnet mask, um, our subnet mask will change from 255.255.255.0 to 255.255.255.224. And then I've written 224 here, I mean I've written the entire subnet mask in binary here, and you can see now with a slash 27 subnet mask we have 27 ones, right, and the last one happens to be in the 32's place, and here we have the place value for 8 bits. We have uh, every 8-bit segment of 8 bits has its place values from 2 to the 0 to 2 to the 7th. And in this case over here, 2 to the 0 to 2 to the 7th. So the 2 to the 0 is the 1's place, 2 to the 1's the 2's place, 4's place, 8's place, and then the 2 to the 5th place is the 32's place. And you can see here that if we count from the left, 2 to the 7th, 2 to the 6th, 2 to the 5th, 32, and so here we have this octet, and you see three over, one, two, three. We've borrowed three bits. This is the 25th bit, the 26th bit, and the 27th bit. And this bit right here is in the 32's place, so the magic number is 32. And what that tells us is the networks are going to go up by increments of 32. So our networks will be the 0 network, the 32 network, the 64 network, the 96 network, 128, 160, 192, and 224. Each one of these networks goes up by 32. Now, um, 0 is a network number, 31 is a broadcast number, but 32 is a network number, meaning nobody can be a 32. 32 is a network number. You can't, no host can um, occupy the 32 space. So 32 is a network number, 63 is the broadcast for the 32 network. Then we have the 64 network, the broadcast is 95, 96 network, broadcast is 127. If we go down here, we can see how we're going to work this here. So what we're going to do is, we are going to have, um, we're going to have the 32 network over here, then we'll have a router, and then in between the two routers, we'll have the 64 network in between the two routers. And then on the other side of the router, on this LAN segment over here, we'll have the 96 network. So we'll have two routers, We'll have two LANs, one on one side of the router, the 96 network, and on the other side of this first router, we'll have the 32 network LAN. And then between the two networks, point-to-point -point, um, serial link between the two, we'll have the 64 network. Right? So we've taken one network, and right now we're going to use three networks. We've made eight networks by subnetting it with a slash 27, but we're just going to use three of them. All right, and then our addressing scheme for this will look like this. Okay, and I've just broken this down to show you how we're going to do this. Um, in this LAN, in this first LAN over here, the 32 network, um, the first usable host will be 33, and router 1 will be that host on his fast Ethernet interface. So right there on the fast Ethernet inter interface, he'll be 33. The PC will occupy 34, the next usable host. So the PC will be 34, and the PC's gateway will be router 1's uh, fast Ethernet interface 33. Then between the two routers, they're going to be in the 64 network, they're going to use the first and second hosts. So router 1 serial link will be 65, router 2's serial link will be 66. Then on the, um, the second LAN, on the other LAN, you can see here that we're going to be the 96 network, and um, the first usable host it will be 97, and so router 2's Ethernet interface, fast Ethernet interface, will be the 97, and then the second usable host in that network will be PC2. So PC2's NIC will be 98. So PC2 will be 98, and his gateway 
will be 97, the router to um, Ethernet interface. So that's how we're going to set up this network. And we're going to set it up in Packet Tracer. And so I'm going to go over to Packet Tracer now. And I'm going to start dragging out some routers. So I'll click on routers. And I'm just going to click a generic router here and place a generic router and a generic router. And then I might just move them a little closer. OK. And then I'm going to switch to switches. And I'll just get a generic switch here and place that here. And another generic switch, place that there. And then for end devices, we need a generic PC. So a PC here and a PC here. All right. And now we need to connect these computers together. So I'll click on the, um, the links. And straight through cable is right here. So I'll click on this straight through cable. I'll click on PC0 uh, here and fast Ethernet. And then stretch it over to the switch. And then I'll use the first Ethernet port on the switch, fast Ethernet 01. So they're connected now. OK, if I wanted to, I can uh, change the names of these to PC1. OK, and that, leave that at switch 0. And now I'm going to do um, between the switch and the router's Ethernet interface, it's also going to be a straight through cable. So I'll click on the straight through cable, click here, and use the second Ethernet on the switch, drag it over to the router, and use the router's first Ethernet. OK, so that's set up. All right. Now, between the two routers, this is interesting. What we're going to do is we're going to put a serial link between the two. So we're going to look here for a serial link between the two. Let's see here. There we go. Serial link, serial DCE, serial DTE. Right. We have to figure out how that's going to be. So serial DCE. So I'll click here and click right there and serial 2.0 and then click over here and to serial 2.2 slash 0, right? So I've put a serial um, connection on this. I clicked on the DCE. So now if I hold up here and you can see here on the, if I put the cursor over the serial link, you'll see that router 0 here, the router on the left has the clock on it. That has the clock rate and router, uh, router the second router over here on the right, I'm going to change these to router 1 and then this one will be router two. So the first router, router one, if you look here, he is the DC and has the clock rate on his serial interface. And router two has um, no clock rate on his, uh, on the, um, on the cable, not on the interface yet, but on the cable, the cable has the DTE end. So the serial cable has a DTE end, it's connected to router two, and has a DC e end, a DCE end connected to router one. So I will have to configure the routers, routers accordingly with clock rate for router 1 and no clock rate for router 2. So router 1 will emulate our um, DCE and um, router 2 will emulate our DTE on this WAN connection. Okay, I'm going to go back here and put straight through cables on the rest here from PC1. I'll start there, fast Ethernet, over to the switch to the first Ethernet, and then once again to the switch the second Ethernet and over to the router's uh, first Ethernet. Okay, so that's good. So everything is connected and um, eventually what we'll do is we we'll hopefully will um, see green lights eventually happen for uh, this situation. And um, the next step is to configure these routers so that all our interfaces are configured and up and running.